morning good afternoon good evening depending on the time and location you are tuning to our uag ground disbursement update the first week of april is coming to an end and everywhere is silent anyway admiral has broken the silence just listen to this uh, this uh, broadcast and uh, we'll, we'll come at the end to to just see you at the end listen to it listen to the end it's very important see you at the end remember to subscribe my protege my man i call him the legendary one the special guest on the hot seat today we just have to do it off the telegram platform I do it specially today yo i got uh, the privilege to introduce my protege uh, my big friend in the grants community for a long time and uh, uh, nobody has seen him in the hot from the hot seat uh, he's the uh, one and only I call everybody that is popular that have made an impact in the grand community a legend. So he's the legendary Admin Ellis. Admin Ellis, you're welcome to the hot seat. Sir. Uh, well, Mike, uh, I don't see it as a hot seat. Uh, <laughs> but thank you, thank you, thank you for the All right. uh, the interview. Okay, no problem, everybody. All right, let me hit you with the first question, Admin Ellis. A lot of people have been uh, yelling to see you on the hot seat. Thank God you're here today. Uh, what do you have to say about the international community saga, sir? Oh, wow. Well, the international community uh, is a long story, which uh, everybody that knows about. Uh, we've had different clarification coming from the likes of uh, Reverend Support. Uh, and also from the side of uh, all ground pressure groups, so it's not it's not a new thing. It's, it's, it's an old and outdated story which everybody knows. Yeah, uh, you talked about it uh, being outdated, but uh, Reverend Waga Triple came with a VN, you know, talking about it, and uh, that thing has been in his mind because they call him a scammer, and uh, he has made a series of VN to clarify that. And uh, there's a VN by uh, uh, Ajayi Adegoke, I believe you know him in the Grants community. He talked about uh, Ken, you know, setting up the international community stuff. What do you have to say about it? Well, you see, Michael, uh, when I speak uh, in the Grand ecosystem, uh, I speak with boldness simply because uh, anything I say, I have proof, if not proof. I have proof to back myself up because of eventuality, okay? Mm. Uh, I wouldn't want to say things to please the masses simply because they want to hear these things or they want to, uh, they want somebody that uh, tells these lines of stories. I, would, I wouldn't want to do that. Anything you see me say or have said in the past, I have proof, not, I have proof, if not proof for them. Uh, now, uh, somebody saying uh, um, Apostle Ken set up the international community. Well, the person may come forward to give us the proof because I am not in the know of it. Okay, I, I am in the know of it. And moreover, I wasn't part of the international community. I wasn't uh, in, in that group. So anybody that is setting up anything, I, I, I don't have an idea about that. I don't know about that. All right. This is uh, still the chat show powered by Heat Me Foundation. And uh, this is me, myself, and I, the electrifying hitman. I got a special guest on the hot seat. He said he doesn't like it. Uh, he doesn't feel it's a hot seat. All right. <clears throat> I got my man and only the legendary Admin Ellis. All right, Admin Ellis, you talk about you're not in the picture of the international community. I just have to bring this up based on the current, uh, you know, series of VN from uh, Reverend Wagachuku. Because he talked about uh, you coming out to betray him. Uh, it is he's not on the good page with you. You should know what, what is happening. So, what is the beef between you and Reverend Wagachiko? Uh, well, you see, uh, I prefer calling it, calling uh, using that Reverend support. Uh, you see, uh, the Reverend support of a man is, um, uh, you know, I've been waiting from the time of his. Uh, last VN, or let me say, second to the last VN, where he called on people to come support his legal actions against uh, the people that have uh, smeared his reputation and all that and all that. Uh, I, I even listened, or was it or not? I don't, think, I don't think it was a voice, I think it was a write up from his church, uh, that's his errant boy, 
uh, yeah, he they thought about that in the list, but I kept my cool because I was waiting for the legal action. And I have waited and waited and none is coming. Uh, I would have loved it if he had taken that move. At least that would have been a move that would nail everything. But unfortunately for me, it never came. Now, I, I have no beef with anybody whatsoever, except the person sees it as a beef. Then, that's good for the person. For me, I say what's on my mind, and I don't have time to eat it. Okay? Uh, now, it, it all started when, you know, we were working together, and uh, there was this time we met with Apostle Ken, and uh, this is the first time I'm saying this live on there, or to the hearing of everybody. And uh, Apostle Ken gave me the data of all the NGOs, because there were so many dupli duplicates and duplications of the NGOs here and there. And I told him, I can help you, you know, sieve out the duplicates, and you just have the original, just on one NGO. Uh, NGO on, on, on your list or your ledger and he gave me a copy of it. It took me, it took me I think either two or three days to, you know, use different parameters to weed out double uh, uh, duplicated NGOs. Now in the process of that, I, you know, uh, Reverend came and was like, okay, I should help him put in one NGO. Uh, and I told him, see, I, I don't have, I don't work this way. I have principles and I do as much as possible to uh, follow my principles. If you want me to include this one NGO, call up Pastor Ken and tell him to, to give me the, or to or order me to put it for you. And he said, okay, I should leave it, I should leave it. And then later on, he came to my room and he said, I told him, see, I, I won't do this. That was where the deal started. I told him if there are two options, it's either you tell us to can to, you know, ask him to put it, or you wait when I submit this to him, then you tell him to put it for you. Because uh, the the instruction given was to Apostle Ken to do this and you want to tamper it. And that was it. So that was the genesis. That was the genesis. I'm saying this without fear of people. I'm saying this as a matter of truth and fact. Okay, at least I have uh, two witnesses that witnessed the first time he told me this, and these are two ladies. Okay, so like I said, anything I say in the in grand ecosystem, I have, I have a backup. Yeah. Now that's the genesis, and from there we started having pictures here, and, and that is what it. All right, this is uh, me, myself, and I, the electrifying one, the heat man. I am a Michael straight up, no eyes. You just felt it big time from admin, the legendary Alice. On the hot seat today, today is Tuesday, 2nd of April 2024. All right, uh, admin Alice, the legendary one. Now, he talked about, uh, Reverend Bagajuku talked about you, a line that uh, he never gave uh, Apostle Ken above 24 million that you said he gave 24 million only and he said he gave over 40 million how do you uh, reconcile that sir? now um you see uh, reverend support is a smart man he's very smart and if if you don't uh, know what you're doing you get as smart yet. uh now when he say when he's saying that he's actually true he, he's actually speaking the truth in what he's saying why do I say this? The truth is that from the time he started to the time I broke up with him, he might have, 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 have I don't know the picture of all the money he paid into a account. I don't know. He might have paid more than that. But the voice note I made, okay, the allegation, not, not actually an allegation, it's a fact was the 300,000 naira he demanded, if you could remember, I said what he paid, what I said in that voice note was exactly this does not include the ones he has given before or after. I don't know if you get me. Yeah. So, but from his speech, he is including everything. But that's not what I meant. That's not what I said in that voice note. Hello? No, yeah, I'm with you, sir. Okay, so, you know, he, he's very smart. Now, uh, if you remember when he made that voice note of paying 300,000 naira, he told them for everybody that has made that payment, they should send me the proof of payment. I don't know if you heard that. Yeah. Okay. Now, if I have all the proof of payment, 
Uh, when I come to PD and put figures that I know nothing about, obviously, no. obviously no. no so yeah. I studied statistics in school and I know what figures are. Okay. okay? I know what figures are. We don't joke with figures. Yeah. So what I said in that voice note, I stand by every letter of it. Thank you. Straight up, no IC just solved that from admin, the intelligent Alice is uh, intelligently answering my question one after the order. This is still the chat show powered by Heat Me Foundation. And uh, this is me, myself, and I, the electrifying one, the Heat Man. I am a Michael. All right, admin Alice, let's shift away from the international community and that is a Reverend Wagachi. You. you just uh, solved the problem when it comes to answering the question. What is the what is happening in the grand community with the latest uh, allegation against Ustus? I heard you VN. Can you elaborate on that, sir? Uh, you see, I'm I'm an activist, and uh, when I see other activists being uh, dragged to the world for something they did not do, it gets me irritated. Yeah, if it's something you did, of course you're a human being. You're 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 prone to err. Okay, to err is is human to forgive his divine. Yeah. You can hear and then they say this is what we've done. You, if you are remorseful enough, you say sorry and life continues. But if you have not done this and people keep saying you, you've done this, you've done this, and I know for sure that you did not do it, it will replace me. For a very long time, for a while now, I've not been out speaking, uh, you know, in yeah. the grand ecosystem. Everybody yeah, I mentioned that in the voice note I released about uh, uh, um, uh, Ustas, yeah. Ustas, 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 yeah. yes. I, I decided to keep my cool. But, you know, the allegations that he was the one that wrote the petition against uh, Apostle Ken yeah, is a big fat lie. It's a big fat lie. And after Gawood was trying everything possible to exonerate himself, and people were not satisfied. And then I had to come up and say, no, this is a lie. This is a lie. And that's just the reason. No, no nothing attached to it. I called Oster Gawood once and I asked him, Oster, how did this how did this happen? Did you write this petition? And he told me, he said, Admin Ellis, this is our fasting period. And I am swearing with the fasting I am I, I am having that I did not do it. And of course, I was born in Cardinal State. I grew up in Cardinal State. I, I, hear, I hear outside. I have been corrected with Muslims most of my life. And when you hear a Muslim say this, just go ahead and believe him. Now, after making that voice note, I put up a post telling the Joyce Lobby of, of the lady uh, of whom I, I also know, it's just that I don't want to go into that area. I've come to discover who just lovely is. Okay. I don't want to go there. Yeah. Now, I made a post and said, give me the proof. Okay, snapshot, anything, just give me, send the proof to everybody. Send it to platforms. Let's, it's not just, uh, you know, accusing somebody. Send the proof, let's see. Uh, well, I'm surprised that everywhere is quiet. She's quiet. I, I, I wanted her to speak up more so that if, if I enjoy it and I, I, I can't enjoy it again, then I'll tell everybody who she is really is. And uh, you'll be surprised at what she'll be. <laughs> <laughs> <That's serious. laughs> Anyways, uh, this is still the chat show powered by Heat Me Foundation. We got my man, my producer, John the Hot Seat, the legendary admin Ellie. Uh, Elmin Ellis, I want to ask you this question based on what Usta said. Usta said that UAG doesn't have money and uh, Apostle Ken's name is never in any document. What is your take on that, sir? Well, um, you see, the much I know at every point in time is what I relate to the public. I cannot say more than I know at every point in time. Uh, there are also times when from all evidence I've seen, from all facts, which I wouldn't want to disclose because of some personal reasons, uh, the, the, I believe that Apostle Ken's name is on the document and there is money to disclose. But there was when it got to, it got to an extent where, uh, due to some reasons, I wasn't following up with events again as regards to the document, the money, the UAG, and stuff like that. And of course, all ground pressure groups were at the forefront. They were just like the CIA, investigating, turning uh, all the tables around and looking for, you know, lost coin and everything, and ransacking every nook and cranny of the information space. 
and you know because they were there i, I just had to sort it out now uh i i don't know the basis for Mr. Zawood saying that of course he has the freedom to say what he says i don't know his basis so if Mr. Zawood has said this uh, i believe this question should uh, go to him let him clarify more on it all right, all right. straight up no eyes that was intelligently answered Anyways, uh, the money they are talking about, there's this rumor that's flying that uh, uh, all grand pressure group are the ones that source for this money that uh, UAG wanted this boss. What is your take or what is your own take about it? Sister? No, I, I won't say it's a rumor. I won't say it's a rumor because it came from all grand pressure group in one of their uh, the, uh, chat room or one of their meetings. You know, okay. yeah, it came directly from them. Okay. So it's not a rumor, it's something that they have stated. Uh, I'm not part of the All Grand Treasure Group, but this is what they have said, that they facilitated this grant that is being, that uh, we are expecting the disbursement. So I, 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 I wouldn't say it's a rumor. All right. So straight, that's just it. And uh, is there a palliative, the way it's been circulated, or it grants itself? Uh, well, uh, <laughs> When I heard uh, what uh, our Grand Pleasure Group talked about, they said, uh, if it is a palliative, well, I don't know. But whichever one it is, palliative, grand, uh, free money, that, let them, let it come. I'm waiting for it. I'm, I'm seriously waiting for it. All right, that means uh, they, 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 they just said, uh, even if it's palliative, just like what you said, it's better for us to get the money for us before we know what's up. Anyways, yeah, anyways, this is still the chat show. I got my man, my brother John, the hot seat today, the legendary admin Alice. All right, admin Alice, are you really sure? They talked about, okay, let me, uh, they talked about this uh, uh, news that Apostle Ken is no more in the picture of this bus and the money. I'll treat that, sir. Who said that? Where's the news coming from? In the, in the grant ecosystem. That is Apostle <laughs> Ken has been yanked off. He has been removed from the bus and the police. You see, when you're in the ecosystem, yeah, yeah. you get a lot of news. And when you, you see it, you see the, the news, uh, you get to know which is real and which is a mirage. Uh, I'm not aware if anybody's name has been removed because there, is, there has never been any official communication to that effect. Uh, everybody is sitting in riddles and parables, and uh, until I get the interpretation, that is when I will, I will, I will say, I will say it's true or not true. Uh, the the grand ecosystem, uh, <laughs> where you just have to in the grand ecosystem, you just have to stand like uh, uh, like a, a power that uh, just visited a new land. Okay, there's this adage in my in my uh, you know uh, community that says uh, when a fowl gets to a new territory that it has never been to before, it stands on one leg yeah, yeah. and it looks at every other bird and see they are standing on two legs before it brings back to the second second leg. So that's just my take on it. All right, straight up, no ice. You just saw that from the legendary admin Ellis. Uh, let me hit you with this question. There's a lot of uh, speculation. People are still uh, skeptical about the reality of the money. I know you're not part of the all grand pressure group, but in your mind, what do you feel about this money? Is it authentic that people should put their hope on, or is it another mirage that we'll see soon again? Uh, I think I've answered this question more than 12 times today alone from different persons from different persons and this is what I have to say. I don't easily give up on my pursuit except I see reason to do so. Uh, from all my permutations, from all my personal investigation, which is personal to me anyway, uh, this is not the best time for me to give up. In fact, I am waiting for, for anything. Uh, I don't. I'm not. I, I don't want to say something that everybody in the grant ecosystem uh, will hold hook, line, and sinker. 
uh, I've done my own investigation and I believe in what I believe in. Uh, they also can also do this and believe in whatsoever they believe in. Uh, because uh, of, of recent, I've had so many people say, Adminelli, you said this and we followed you and now you did that, you did that. And it, it's becoming a problem to me. So, I believe what I believe in. I am a Michael, you also believe what you believe in. Let everybody believe in what they believe in. All right, that was it straight up, no eyes from Admin, the legendary Alice. All right, Admin Alice, what is your take about the generality of the brand community, the monetization in the brand community, sir? Uh, my view about the brand community. Uh, I was telling a friend that uh, soon I'm going to write the book dedicated to this different community, you know, the book is talk about the different characters we have in the community and uh, how they have to be for us far. The grand community is a mess. Yeah, it's a serious mess. In the sense that the people you look up to, to, uh, you know, lead the way are the people that are messed in around. I'm a Christian. Uh, of course, you know, Christianity is not a religion. Uh, but yeah, the way of life. Not just from, yeah, it's just a way of life. Yeah. Uh, for those that take it as a religion, you can see what they have been doing. And these people that take it as a religion are the people with the big, big titles. Yeah, the apostles, apostles bishops, reverend, yeah. bishop, yeah. <laughs> Pastors and you know what have you. Yeah. Now this is not in any way to say that all the reverends, all the apostles and bishops and all of them are the same. No, they are not. We have very few of them that are very very faithful yeah. and Listen. good to their words. Mm -hmm. Yes, but most ninety five percent of them in the grand ecosystem now wash they be <laughs> they be wash. <laughs> oh my gosh! Now it has gotten to the to, to the extent that. If I meet somebody and he introduces himself as pastor, maybe he says, I am pastor <laughs> this. If I, if I get torn off, yeah, I have this invitation. It's better you introduce yourself and then in the course of me meeting you, then I can decide to ask, are you a pastor? Probably from the way you behave, then I can ask if you're a pastor. But coming to tell me this is, this is apostle, no, 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 it's a turn off. <laughs> Uh, every every everybody is looking for money in, in Nigeria, and you know the fastest way to get the money is you know through the grant ecosystem. Yeah, you're right. Uh, even my my solo admins have all the vast means of getting the money. Okay, now admin early, uh, I've also developed my own means of getting the money. Like somebody was accusing me in my platform that I have been collecting money from my uh, from my from my uh, corporate, which is actually true. Okay, but what the person failed to uh, understand is how where these monies are being channeled to. Okay. Uh, well, that is not your question. So let me not let me not go there. So this is my general view about the grant system. It's a mess. I, I am a Michael. It's a mess. A total mess. Yeah. Yeah. I concur to that fact. Straight up, no eyes. You just felt that from the legendary one, Admin Ellis. Admin Ellis has been in the grant ecosystem for a long time, doing the job the way it needs to be done professionally. Uh, finally, uh, okay, let me hit you with two questions. Uh, what is your take on the ITV uh, press broadcast by Apostle Ken? Uh, well, uh, I will say this and I will say it once and loud. There, are, there were three men that spoke in that interview. Two of them lied totally. They lied totally. <laughs> One of them said the truth. Hmm. Yes. That's too bad. Two of them lied totally. And one of is just one that said the truth. Hmm. That 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 ITV stuff was a turn off for me. Hmm. Yeah. Straight up no ice, you just felt that 
from the legendary Admin Ellis. One thing I like about him is straightforward, just like what he said, is the version of Ustus Dawit. Finally, sir, Admin Ellis, what is the advice to the masses or to the subscribers in the grand community? Your my advice is, yeah. yeah, my advice is, uh, if anybody is asking you for money, uh, the next you have excess and it's flowing on the street, on your street, then you can give. But if you're managing yourself, give no one no time. Except, now, there are exceptions actually. Uh, like what I wanted to say earlier, again, I said no, it's not part of the question. Now, this is where I want to bring it in. Except for, yeah, except for visionary uh, leaders that you that have sold a vision to you and you want to be part of the vision, just like uh, GID Multipurpose Corporate Society is currently doing. Okay? GID Multipurpose Corporate Society, every member, we are more than 750, uh, more than 750. And every member pays a minimum of 1,000 naira per month. There are people that pay 50,000 per month. Some pay 20,000. And we've, we've realized more than 7 million naira. And of course, this, we started this from October last year. And of course, the members can attest to what it is utilized. That is where the their monies are going into. So it's a, G, it's a vision, a GRB vision, and people that know key into it. And we are working slowly. Now, so except for these few exceptions, uh, we are, uh, some leaders have have some vision and you feel you want to be part of it. Any other person telling you to bring one naira for grant, not just grant, to bring one naira to maybe increase your your <laughs> your cluster or to put you in one big position or, or you know make you got that wrong, <laughs> wrong. Oh my gosh, that means uh, what you're trying to say in summary is uh, there is no money involved in a grant. Grant is totally free for anybody to apply, just like what uh, uh, this man is doing, uh, Tony Elimelu and others. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Thank you very much. This is where we'll be calling it a wrap. You just felt it intelligently dissected by the intelligent one. The man with the wisdom, the man that is bold in the Grants community, he is no other person than the legendary admin Ellis. Thank you very much for coming to the hospital, sir. My pleasure. Thank you. So guys, you have heard from the horse's mouth. So let's just keep our fingers crossed and hope that the disbursement soonest. See you on our next update, guys. Bye for now. Happy weekend. <laughs>